calculating electric field from electric potential. Now remember the relationship between the potential difference and the electric field. The potential difference between two points can be calculated as minus the path integral e dot ds. So ds is our incremental displacement vector. Okay, so if I take this uh, integral and uh, differentiate both sides, I have dv, incremental change in potential, is equal to minus e dot ds. All right. So let's say that uh, electric field is in the, on the x-axis. It has a magnitude ex in x-hat direction or i-hat direction. Then what would this become? Then we would have dv is equal to minus ex dx when we move on the x-axis from one point on the x-axis to another point or the x component of the displacement vector. So uh, you can see this equation tells us that the x component of the electric field is minus dv dx. So it's the derivative of the potential with respect to the x coordinate. So similarly, for any electric field, if we have in general x, y, and z components, the potential has uh, x, y, and z dependence, then we can write an electric field x component as ex is equal to minus partial derivative of the potential with respect to the x variable, y component of the electric field minus partial derivative of potential with respect to y variable and z component of the electric field is minus partial derivative of the potential with respect to z. So what does this tell us? If one measures potential as a function of x, y and z with a voltmeter and meter stick, so we know how the potential changes with distance from the origin, electric field can be calculated using the gradient operator. Electric field is minus gradient of the potential. So we can write this as minus i hat or x hat del del x plus j hat del del y plus k hat del del z in parentheses applied to the potential. So this is our gradient operator. This gives us x component of electric field in i hat direction, y component in j hat direction plus z component in k hat direction. So our gradient operator is this i hat del del x plus j hat del del y plus k hat del del z. Now what happens? if the charge distribution has spherical symmetry. So we have charge density as a function of radial distance r. Then this e dot ds uh, will become the radial component of electric field multiplied with dr. For example, if you consider a point charge plus q, the electric field lines uh, point radially outward in r hat direction, er is equal to minus dv dr, we know that the potential due to a point charge is kq over r, assuming that the potential at infinity is zero. Then if I calculate the electric field using minus dv dr, I will have the derivative of one over r is minus one over r square. So minus signs will cancel. This will become kq over r square. This is the radial component of the electric field, er. So therefore, the electric field itself is kq over r square in r hat direction. Okay, so to summarize, we can calculate electric field from electric potential. So we need to know the spatial variance of the electric potential. If we are using Cartesian coordinates, the electric field is minus gradient of the potential. That's minus parentheses i hat del del x plus j hat del del y plus k hat del del z. If we have a radial distribution, spherical uh, symmetry, in the problem, then we can write electric field radial component as minus dv dr.